up FIFA Nation, Andrew Murray here, and we are back with another video. And this was just released today, um, so there is a new milestone objective. Um, so just a quick reminder, there's only a few days left to finish complete uh, Orsic. Um, so he's definitely a good player. You definitely want to uh, get him nice, fast left mid from Croatia. But here's the exciting news. They just released the brand new Bundesliga player. I was expecting that they would do Bundesliga as the next one. And um, as you can see, I'm a big fan of doing these. Uh, so this player is, I don't know who it is, uh, Verstrate. I'm not familiar with him, but pretty decent uh, CDM. You know, I like the, the physicality and, uh, and the speed. And the, and the passing. So he should be pretty interesting to get. So here's how to get this guy in the quickest way possible. So what you want to look at is it's basically two goals in separate wins with in rivals with all these different teams, except for the three that are uh, were recently promoted. So that will be FC Köln, Paderborn, and these these silver players are crazy expensive uh, because they're they're being gamed. Um, on the uh, for coins in the uh, in the, the store and Union Berlin so here's what I do I take down write down all these um, the names of these teams on a piece of paper and then I go through and look at who I've got on my team for that uh, for that person uh, or for that team and then what I try to do is I make a team and I usually leave out the top players um, so for example, I won't start with any Bayern, Bayern Munich strikers. And in fact, I'll probably get the two, the two goals with defenders off corner kicks or something like that, because I want to work on the, the weakest teams first, except for these last three. Okay. These last three are, are different. And, and I draw a line and kind of keep them separate at the bottom because those players, I always have one of them on the bench. So if I'm going to lose a game in rivals, I'm going to throw on a striker for one of these uh, teams and try to at least, you know, maybe get a loss, but at least I'll get uh, I'll get a goal with one of those players. So that's how you knock out those three ones. When you're starting this, you want to start with the strongest backbone that you've got. So you want to have, you know, your strong defenders, um, strong. Uh, let me show you here. So I'll just for an example. Okay. So let's go to Bundesliga 2. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to get your strongest back line in there. Okay. Because this is going to be your defense, right? So we'll do Bundesliga. And typically it's untradeable. So I'm going to put in Manuel Neuer. And then the same thing with you know, the center backs, this is irrespective of the, um, you know, the rest of this stuff. So I actually don't have any untradeables. Um, I traded in a lot of my, uh, a lot of my team to get the, um, to get that, the double upgrade, you know, the 81. And actually that was pretty cool because I actually got Virgil van Dyke out of one of those packs. So that is pretty exciting. So basically you make your back line and then when it comes to the rest of the team, you want to look at who you've got, right? So, you know, I go down and look at, uh, you know, who I've got on, let's say Dusseldorf and nobody there. So if you don't have anyone there, then you want to go um, concept players and basically look at what the players are. Now I know this guy is a, um, team of the week so you might want to spend that temporarily and you know then sell them off after or what I sometimes do is I just find a decent midfielder and you know I'll go after him and maybe put him in the midfield right so he'll probably end up getting a goal at some point in a win um, that type of thing so that's what I do when I go through and uh, do this. But you want to go through and, and look at your team, look at who you've got on all these different uh, teams. And like Hertha, who do I got on Hertha? So I have um, him just on loan and I got Duda and uh, Scalebred. So what I might do is I might just 
look at who is available on this, um, who is available uh, as attackers, or, or sometimes I, I pick midfielders um, because I, I can get a lot of goals with midfielders. But I look at who's available on this. So he's a, he's a goalkeeper. Um, this is a team of the week. Probably this guy is the strongest, just regular player, left mid. So that's someone that I'll probably get and you know just pick up on the transfer market have him at left mid you know he's not going to be the strongest but you know he's going to be in the games and you know he's going to end up getting a goal in the win sometime so that's what i would do go through and, and get your squad now um, and find out who you want to have on these on these teams typically you know like when i did this with la liga I didn't even score with with PSG with any of my strikers. I just left them not even in, in the team. Or sometimes I put them on the bench. Sometimes I put um, Footmas Cavani on the bench. So if the game's close towards the end, I can put them on. You know, try to secure that win, that type of thing. But that's the easiest way to do it. And then on your piece of paper beside each team, you want to write down who you've got players that are, are on your squad that are on that particular team. So example, you know, I write down Duda. So if I'm making a switch in the middle of the game and, you know, I know that I've already scored with, with um, you know, Hertha, I can take off the Hertha player and I'm gonna put on someone that's on a different team that I haven't scored with yet because there's no point in getting two goals with Hertha in the same game because it will still only count for one. So, I hope that makes sense. And basically, that is the easiest way to get this Bundesliga player um, who looks like uh, Verstrate, who looks, that's how, at least that's how I'll pronounce it. And um, he looks like a real strong CDM. So good good place, player to bring on, uh, even if he doesn't make your starting lineup. Good player to bring on, you know, with fresh legs, if you're trying to hold, hold that win later on in the game if you got a Bundesliga team. Pretty cool opportunity guys so we've, there's only a few days left in this season so go out and start working on this guy of course this will carry on into the next season so it's not something you need to do urgently but you know i just wanted to explain the best way to secure him if you got a bundesliga team all right that's it peace